Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to Oh uh, Yeah Gaming. How are you all doing on this fine... God, it's Friday already. Friday morning. How are you all doing on this fine Friday morning? Uh, hey, if you want to know today's beverage of the day, it is a... Uh, looking around here, doo -doo -doo, it is a raspberry lemonade ginger ale, zero sugar, naturally flavored, made from real ginger. And that's that, folks, is what I call a banger beverage. This is a... <laughs> A fine beverage. Let me take a sip here. Cheers, everybody. <sighs> Woo! That's nice. All right. Went down the wrong pipe, maybe, but, <laughs> you know, we'll live. Anyway, uh, so there was supposed to be a main channel video going up today, and it's not. It's not going to go up today. Not that it's not, like, done or anything, even though, I mean, it isn't done. It's still being edited, but besides that, it would it would have been done if there wasn't some complications with the sponsor. So we're pushing it back to early July don't worry, you're still gonna get another video in July at minimum. So there's gonna be the video that was supposed to come out in June and then a video in July, like normal, and then maybe even more. I'm trying to upload more, I'm trying to do it. We'll see, we'll see. But because I'm not uploading on the main channel today, I thought it'd be the perfect time to upload on this fucking dead ass channel again, huh? Take, take a swig back, run back and upload on this dead ass channel. Uh, cause you know, I've been wanting to revive uh, yeah, Gaming for a little bit there, but I've just been like, ah, you know, it's a, it's a big commitment, but I feel like as part of getting my schedule of life back on track, because I've been thrown off track because I got like sick and shit, and it's been kind of like a rough couple months for me. Doesn't matter. I'm, I'm, I'm almost over it now. We're good. But I think some kind of schedule to get me back on track would help. And I think making oh yeah gaming videos at least every once in a while would definitely be a smart idea. So we're going to go with that. And uh, yeah, I guess we're back for now. Um, don't count on anything, like this could be a one-off, or I could maybe start uploading daily again, or I could do this or that, who knows, there's a million outcomes to this, but, uh, at least for one video, maybe more, I'm back. So, enough about that non-important stuff, uh, today we're actually talking about something that got announced, like, less than an hour ago, um, which is kind of funny, I'm usually not this fast information ever, especially not on this channel, considering it's been dead for months, but, uh, no, this is something that just got announced, and it looked interesting enough, and the story behind it is interesting enough that I'm like, okay, let's give this a quick talk, and that'll be the video for today. So today, we're talking about an upcoming multiplayer horror game called Unplagued, and you're, you're going to be seeing footage of it on screen right now as I'm talking. And, I mean, you've, you've seen the title. This is the Euphoric Brothers' next game after Garden of Ban Ban 7. Um, well, at least that's what it seems like. Maybe it's gonna come out after Ban Ban 8, but I'm assuming this is coming out before Ban Ban 8, if I had to guess. It looks further along in development, you know? But yeah, this is their next project, and it very, very clearly takes inspiration from games like Lethal Company and uh, Content Warning, as it's that kind of like thing where it's like four players in a uh, proximity chat environment where they have to do it, like one common goal or one common thing, and then like get out of there, you know? It's like, it's that kind of like deal but in a more like medieval plague doctor uh, setting. And honest to God, this game looks good. Like just straight up, like no like no like beating around the bush with like Ban Ban where it's like, you know, Ban Ban 7 was pretty good, but it's also like a lot of the carrying is like the irony and like the whole lore behind it and, and all that funny stuff. This game just on its own, ignoring that it's made by the Euphoric Brothers, just, just looks good. <laughs> like it just looks good. Now, I think this game's art style, like, other than, like, the, you know, environments or whatever, which are definitely just, like, purchased assets, which is fine. So many games do that. It doesn't even matter. But I'm talking about the actual models. Uh, you'll see on screen here, I'll put some pictures if it's not in the video that well, but there's some, the models for the monsters in this game, uh, they're, they're very reminiscent of some of the Ban Ban stuff. Like, you can definitely tell the Euphoric Brothers modeled these characters. But I think they're they're taking their strong suits from their modeling style and applying them to this game in a really clever way. Because I think a lot of these designs are really reminiscent of specifically stuff like Zolfius and the Javanium Aliens. Uh, uh, you know, stuff like that in the Ban Ban games. And like the big like baby thing. I think these models are really close. You know, they look kind of similar to that. But I think that style of their modeling always worked better for like horror stuff, I guess. I think those were always the better models than like the, you know, normal Ban Ban stuff. So I'm glad that's the direction they're going with this. And I think it works really well in this game. I think because all the environments are like super dark and you know, you have your like light or whatever. I think they just look really good in the darker environments. And I'm, I'm genuinely excited to see where this game goes. And 
if it gets if it gets popular because I'd, I'd love if they had another thing other than garden of ban ban that you know got popular this looks like it could be a really fun stream game i'm definitely gonna play it uh maybe i'll stream it on the day it comes out who knows but i'm yeah i'm genuinely just it's i'm just i'm just happy this game exists you know i'm just happy they're working on something other than ban ban at this point because you know clearly the euphoric brothers before ban ban they were making a fuck ton of games like just anything at all um no 3d games though and ban ban was their first 3d game which i mean looking back on it now it's very obvious obviously like you can tell it's such a basic game but i mean obviously they were building the skills with the ban ban games to then make something like this and then like something like ban ban 7 i guess but more specifically something like this where it's like this big online multiplayer game with like dark scary environments and like you know i don't know this just looks like it's gonna be a really fun game and genuinely i'm pr i'm proud of the brothers man i'm proud of the euphoric brothers and i i hope it does well i genuinely do hope it does well um yeah that's that's pretty much all i gotta say i i think we can maybe read the steam page if y'all want to know some more info because i mean if you're on youtube you, you probably ain't looking on twitter or whatever so let's re let's read the steam page shall we purge the plague with a team of up to four companions, purge the plague infecting the procedurally generated medieval villages. So every time you play the game, different environments, which, I mean, obviously makes sense for a game like this where you're going to be playing it multiple times over and over again. Uh, could, could maybe, you know, cause some issues if the generation sucks. I think that was a problem with Egghead Gumpty from what people have told me. I've never actually played that game, but I've been told that the procedural generation in Egghead Gumpty is pretty bad. Uh, but you know, hopefully that maybe that maybe that was just a test for something like this. You know, maybe maybe that's gonna maybe it's gonna be better here. Who knows? Escape the horrors. The plague has already settled in the lands, and the villagers and creatures residing within it have mutated into horrors beyond imagination. And <laughs> it shows this uh disgusting fucking two-headed thing. I I love this thing. It is like so like you can definitely tell this is a euphoric model but goddamn it looks <laughs> I love this thing. It's got the syringion mouth. I don't know. I think this thing is really I mean, it's creepy looking, but it's also very funny looking. I, I love this guy a lot. He's very funny. Create the cure. Discover and collect ingredients to find the right combination to create the cure as you travel from village to village. So I guess the game is going to be going from village to village, trying to avoid these monsters and whatever, and then getting ingredients to make a cure, which I think is a pretty fun premise, especially if it's like, there's a fuck ton of ingredients you can use, but it's like, every at the start of every game it tells you these are the ingredients you need to find so that could be really interesting and then we got the game features here you know up to four player online co-op proximity voice chat procedurally generated villages and areas terrifyingly interesting monsters and ai hope that one's right hope that one's right uh, and then they said plague donkey which i guess is this fucking thing in this image gif thing here whatever anyway it doesn't matter that's the game i think this looks really interesting i wanted to make sure everybody knew this was coming out because this, this is the Euphoric Brothers' chance to really prove to the naysayers that, like, they can make something, you know, that that appeals to more than just, like, either brain-rotted idiots like me, hey, or children, right? This is this is very much just, I mean, obviously children are going to like this because children like everything scary for some reason. But, I mean, this this is this is their chance to prove to the masses that they, they got it. So I, I'm rooting for them. I'll definitely play it. I'm excited for it. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, if you stuck around to the end of the video, thanks everybody. Uh, here's a little bit of an update on, uh, the Handy Dans, if you bought one of those. I made a post on my main channel's community tab a couple weeks ago saying they would be shipping out soon. And there's a bit of a delay on that, only a little bit. They're not going to be shipping in June. It should be one to two more weeks. They're still being shipped from the manufacturer to the warehouse. But once they're in the warehouse, which should be in one to two weeks, they will be shipping out. And then we can start talking about the future of Handy Dans, because there is some stuff to talk about. But I'm not going to say it until... People have them in their hands and we're well into that. So that's all. That's all I want to say. Thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this one. Hopefully I'll be back tomorrow. I don't know. The thing is, I don't know what I'd talk about tomorrow. This is probably it. I'm probably dead after this. But hey, you know what? If I'm back tomorrow, I'm back tomorrow. We'll see. I've been uh, yeah, Gaming, and I'll see you all next time. Cheers, everybody.